Now, the play A View from the Bridge is arguably Arthur Miller's most famous play, and it essentially charts the tragic downfall of its central protagonist, Eddie Carbone, who is, uh, he develops a jealousy over his niece's love interest, and this leads him to co create a series of mistakes that ultimately leads to his death. Now, what I thought would be really good is to essentially create a mind map of all the key events to remember in this play. So while studying this play, it can be very easy to get lost in its details. It's always good to take a step back and to look at what's happened in the entirety of the play. Therefore, essentially what you should do is treat this mind map as almost uh, you taking a step back and understanding all the major events and plotting them out in order to effectively remember firstly what happens in the entire play, but also of course the key turning points within the narrative. So what I'm going to do is basically walk you through essentially all the main events that you need to remember for this play and then afterwards I will have a series of videos where I focus on all the key characters and key quotations to remember and the word level analysis that you can do when you are revising for these characters either for your exams, your coursework or any type of essay that you're writing related to View from the Bridge, okay? Now going to the narrative itself. So Remember that this is a play, of course, created by Arthur Miller, and it's narrated from the perspective of a lawyer in the Italian-American community called Alfieri. So Alfieri is the one who narrates this tragic downfall of Eddie Carbone. Now, the play follows Eddie Carbone, who has a downfall, and we also learn of his entire family's journey. So we learn that they are Italian-Americans, they are part of the migrant community, and we learn that Eddie, in particular, seems to be actually in love with his niece, Catherine. Now, in the play, we learn that the family are awaiting the arrival of two particular individuals, Marco and Rodolfo, who are coming directly as immigrants from Italy. Now, once Marco and Rodolfo arrive, we learn that Catherine, who's Eddie's niece, and we learn that Eddie has a sexual interest in her, even if he kind of tries to keep it very, very secret. We learn that Catherine and Rodolfo, they fall for each other and they begin a romantic relationship and a courtship. So they start a romance which angers Eddie. So now his secret feelings for his niece start to begin to become obvious and they start to surface. Now, once Catherine and Adolfo start this romance and this angers Eddie, we learn that Eddie is not only attracted to Catherine, he also suspects Rodolfo for being a homosexual. Then we learn that Eddie then turns to Alfieri, the lawyer who's narrating this story, and he essentially asks for legal advice on getting rid of Rodolfo. And Alfieri, who senses that Eddie has this unnatural jealousy, he essentially advises him he can't do anything. He has to leave things as they are. However, Eddie doesn't seem to take on this advice. Thereafter, we learn that Catherine and Rodolfo, they decide to get married, and we also learn that they have sex. And Eddie, when he discovers this, becomes enraged we learn that he forcefully kisses both Catherine so this is his way of giving in to his desire for her but also he forcefully kisses Rodolfo as a way to prove his homosexuality to everybody and of course this is meant to also embarrass Rodolfo then Eddie escalates the issue and calls immigration on both Marco and Rodolfo and who reports them and this leads them to get arrested and Alfieri the lawyer steps in in order to pay bail for them and to bail them out of jail. Thereafter Alfieri steps in to also help Catherine and Rodolfo arrange their marriage and they arrange their wedding and on their wedding day we learn that Marco in a rage because he's not forgotten what Eddie did to them, them and the betrayal that comes with reporting them to the immigration services. Marco returns to the Carbone family during the wedding day and he seeks revenge. Now there's a fight and Eddie tries to stab Marco. However, Marco turns Eddie's arm on himself and this causes Eddie to be killed by his own knife. So he has a fatal injury and of course he ends up sadly dying in his wife Beatrice's arms. So interestingly, he ends up dying in his wife's arms, the same wife that he ignored in favour of his younger, more beautiful niece Catherine, okay? So of course bear in mind that this play is meant to be a tragedy. We learn that Eddie Carbone, he's a hard worker, he's a good man, he's a family man. However, his fatal flaw is his sexual interest in Catherine and his trying to control 
control her sexuality, which ultimately leads to him making a series of decisions that end up with his death, okay? So that's really it when it comes to understanding just the major events that happen in this play. Now, what I'm going to do is in the series of videos that follow, I will focus in on the main characters and the key quotations to remember, particularly when you're revising the characters are also, of course, writing about them for your essays.